Hey guys, so I'm still, uh, Grace and I'm still at her parents' place. We're going to be here probably till for another two more days. Uh, but I just wanted to give an update quickly on the, well, not quickly, but this is kind of an update on the x -rails. So I've had them for about a week now and I've tested them out in terms of uh, watching movies on them, TV shows, browsing my phone just casually on them. Um, it's got the, the micro uh, LED, the Sony micro LEDs look amazing. The 1920 by 1080, so they're HD. Um, not 4K, but you know what? It doesn't matter because they, they look phenomenal. Um, and one of the things, one of the features I've actually found that I've really liked with them is using Nebula on Mac, it's in beta and in Windows, it's going to be released soon, it says on the website. But what Nebula basically allows you to do is plug in your glasses to the laptop and then you can either choose to have one, two or three screens at 75 or 90 hertz refresh rate. Now, those screens are static in front of you, so you can just look around and it stays stays where it is in, in space and you know what it's amazing and the thing is i've just bought the x rill and i feel like something was missing with them because when you're watching stuff you're like looking around and the screens follow you so i have bought the x rill beam now the beam gives you some like additional features, uh, which what I'm going to do is I'm going to just unbox this. Give me a second. Let me flip the camera around. So I'm going to do this unboxing on the bed here because, you know, I'm away. So I'm not in my normal place. I don't have my, my standard studio set up. But yeah, so what you get here is uh, a USB-C cable. Uh, it's, oh, nice. It's got a nice little pull tab here tab and cool okay so similar to the cable that you get with the extra so it's like a braided cable this one is obviously the the one that goes into the glasses here this goes into your your device and then this one is obviously going to give you the, be the cable for this uh so let's open the star of the show which is the extra beam um this basically kind of looks like an ipod in a way uh, let's see how I can open this because I don't have anything with me. Uh, can I use my nail? No, I'm probably going to have to use something, but, uh, give me a second. So I found some scissors to cut this, uh, and yep. So let's open this up. <laughs> cool. It's got some weight to it, this. Um, feels really nice in the hand actually. Really nice design. Uh, cool. Let's have a look. Cool, that's the key, got a nice grip to it. Back button, I think this is like a scroll wheel. Enter, battery status, I believe this is the on button. Uh, volume up and down, and this allows you to switch between those uh, static and moving screens and so on. Cool, so glasses there, and then um, USB-C in. So plug that into, say for example, in the Nintendo Switch or, or whatever other device you want to plug it. So press the directional buttons after clicking the mode button to adjust the screen size and position. Cool, cool. That's the thing that I wanted because that's what you get with the um, Nebula app on the Mac. And that's what I felt like I was missing when I was wearing these, when I ha had it plugged into the phone. One thing I definitely want to try with this is gaming. Oh my God, I want to plug this into the Switch that I have at home. Obviously I'm not home, so I'm going to have to do that when I get back. But uh, I can't wait to play something like um, Pokemon Arceus or um, Sonic Frontiers. <gasps> no Man's Sky with these on. Oh my God, that would be sick. Okay. If you want to get these glasses, oh my God. If you want to get these glasses, you have to get the Beam. This here is a package deal. There is a Beam Pro, uh, which basically looks like a phone, but it's not a phone. Um, and it's got kind of a similar feature set, but you have like the full Google Play Store within that. Um, but if you just want the basics, like you don't want all those kind of extra uh, kind of apps and whatever, then, this is definitely the way to go. Seriously, if you're into productivity, if you're into 
um, gaming, if you're into watching movies and having that cinema experience, like being able to just lie down and look up the screen is where you want it to be. You don't have to be like position yourself to view the screen for that. It's amazing. One thing I do have to say, though, is that the speakers on this, they are good for casual listening. They are very good for casual listening. But when you listening to music or you want to listen to uh, you want to watch movies, you know, where you've got that bigger, boomy bass, um, I would say wear good headphones or or Air, uh, AirPod Pros um, is what I use. Uh, yeah, just because the sound is so much better. Having this with the um, electrochromatic uh, display, which is when it darkens. I don't know if you can see this, where it goes dark like that. There's three stages. So that's like basically wearing sunglasses. And then this one is medium. So I can see like 70%. And then this one is completely, well, almost complete. It's like 99% dark. Um, yeah, having that mode on with noise cancelling headphones in, amazing cinema. Like, it's literally like being in the cinema at home. It's wow. Um, yeah, I can't recommend these highly enough. So I'm at the uh, Blue Planet Aquarium in Chester, just trying out the X-Reels. And um, I can see the screens using the uh, X-Reel here. And it looks absolutely amazing being yeah, able to just view your content. Um, you can even mirror your phone onto the glasses using the X-Reel uh, beam. Um, and it's just so cool being able to just see content, put it up in the corner there. Uh, but yeah, just testing it out. This isn't typically a place where it's music, it's quite dark. But with the electrochromatic dimming, um, you can just use it like sunglasses so I can still see everything that I need to see. So just a thought, I'm trying these out with sunglasses and obviously they look really good with sunglasses because you can like, actually see everything through it, but they kind of look too ridiculous. What do you think? They look a bit... How far off my face are they? Oh, do they look a bit silly? Sunglasses. Okay. So there's the verdict right there. So you can kind of use the sunglasses, but you might have some. I think if you're quite far out, I don't think it's really noticeable. Like if you're at a distance, but if someone's like actually actively looking for it, then I think they'll notice it. But just, you know, if you want to use the sunglasses. The final thing that we're going to be testing with the x rules is going to be the Nintendo Switch. So what is gaming like with the glasses? I'm really excited to see what this is like because um, I've not done this before. I've seen what movies are like, but what's it like to play a game? Because usually you play a game on a, on a small TV. So now it's going to be like on a cinema display. Um, my son is also going to be testing it out as well. Um, check out his channel. It's JTV. Um, I'll leave the link down below. He does mostly like uh, game streaming and gaming like with um, Mario. So um, if you're into that kind of thing or your kids are into that kind of thing, like and subscribe to that channel. Um, yeah, again, I'll put the link down below. But yeah, so what's gaming like with these? Let's try it out. You have to use a, a controller um, or you have to use an external controller. Um, okay. But let's see what Pokemon Arceus is like. If I have not, this is freaking awesome. Oh my God. This is literally like having your own cinema display on your ceiling. I mean, if you're going to be playing like open world games, this is this is the way to go. I don't, I don't see anyone going back from this and just using a standard TV or playing this game. In fact, Jackson, come here. Can you see the screen? Yeah. This is awesome. It's got the sound. It's huge. Okay, try this Perfect. as well. Press this and it goes into like a dark mode thing. Nah, ain't no way. This isn't real. Yeah. Can I have the glasses back now? Um, sure. You don't want to give them back, do you? No, no, fine. <laughs>